Hey guys, I want to tell you about the new Netflix movie, Rory Kenshin, The Beginning. It's an action drama that came out about two weeks ago. It runs about like, two hours. Uh, the main character is a swordsman called uh, Himura Kenshin. And it's the fifth movie in the series, but it's a prequel to the other four movies. This movie takes place from 1864 and a little bit onwards. And uh, the previous movies go uh, later than that. Um which is the Edo period uh, into the Meiji period of Japan. It starts off like letting us just like kind of visually see how badass Kenshin is and then we get and then it like kind of moves over into the story. And it also really depicts Kenshin's role as Batosa, the manslayer, uh, during this period. The movie has a lot of action scenes and depicts some pretty graphic violence, uh, but this fits very well because you kind of get to see Kenshin's brutality and like how like his ability with the sword and how he just like cuts people down. I really like Kenshin's development through the movie. I felt like he had a good kind of progression in his character and he learned things along the way and you could like see how the different events kind of shaped him and changed his behavior and changed the way he thought about things uh, while still managing to keep it feeling like these are just natural developments for him this is just like w the way he is supposed to go and it's it seems like it's consistent with the character at the start the other characters i felt like in some ways weren't completely perfect um i would have liked a little bit more fleshing out of certain characters and a couple of key decisions that should have had some more explanation i also felt like the movie had some pacing issues um the first half of the movie goes by in a flash it's great it's fantastic and then uh, somewhere out in the second part i feel like uh, they kind of tone down the action or they basically take them away from the action and i felt like that part drags on a little bit too much and then going into the climax of the movie um i felt like there are certain decisions in this like time frame from when they're taken out of the action to when the final battle kind of happens where the choices they've made in terms of like how things are played out didn't quite work for me which meant that the final battle for me I, I had like a sour taste and it didn't quite work uh, but after the final battle after the climax I felt like they did a the the scenes that followed were a great like those were great overall I feel like the movie is a solid 7 out of 10 um, there are obviously some issues that I've mentioned. Uh, I don't think I've emphasized properly how good the action scenes are. So if you value those a little bit higher than you than I do, and you don't nitpick the parts I've nitpicked, I think it's pr probably an eight or a nine out of ten. So I wouldn't say you have to watch it based on my experience, but I, I think it's a very very good watch. If you liked the video, make sure you hit like and uh, subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos like this.